Welcome to the Living in a Share House series, where you learn to become a better housemate. In this series, there are four presentations, and this presentation will focus on housekeeping. Housekeeping is necessary wherever you choose to live. It ranges from cleaning to security of the house. It would be mutually beneficial to keep the house hygienic and safe. Housekeeping is really important to bring up during your first household meeting, as often people's definition of cleaning is different. For example, one person's clean could be to clean once a week, whereas another person's clean could be to clean once a day, so that needs to be determined. After you've determined what is clean and how frequently the house should be cleaned, you could provide roles for each person. For example, person A cleans the bathroom, person B cleans the kitchen, and person C cleans the lounge room. This is a good way to ensure everyone is responsible for something, and you can swap it around after a week or two if need be. Creating a cleaning roster that you can put up on the refrigerator or somewhere in the house is very useful because sometimes people forget and having something visual, it helps them to remember. A good thing to keep in mind is, if you soil it, clean it. If you use it, put it back and ensure you do it all right away instead of the next day. It's very easy just to say you will do it tomorrow and then when tomorrow comes, you tell yourself that you'll do it later and then that turns to the following day. Next thing you know, you left it for two days or so and it's unfair for the rest of your housemates, not to mention filthy. Security is something worth talking about as some people have a habit of leaving doors unlocked or windows open all day. Even though Australia is generally a very safe country, there are still robberies and break-ins, so it would be best practice to ensure that the doors around your house are locked, and if you leave a spare key outside, make sure it is not somewhere that's obvious, like under a pot or rock. It would also be beneficial to have a list of emergency numbers stuck up next to the phone or on the refrigerator. Numbers like triple zero, police link, emergency contacts of everyone in the household, etc. Common areas are for everyone in the household to share and enjoy. So if you do have guests over, please let them know that your housemates share that same space. If you have your partner over and you are having private time with them, make sure to have it in your own room and not in the common areas as it could create an awkward situation with all of your housemates. Lastly, having friends over. Always check with your housemates if they are okay with you bringing friends over. You might come across a time where your housemates will ask you if you're okay with them bringing their friends over. And if you're not okay with it, maybe because you're studying for an exam that you might have the following day, then you should let them know. That concludes this presentation. Hopefully you've learned some skills to becoming a better housemate. If you have any questions, please send us an email at info at accommodation.uq.edu.au. And don't forget about the other videos in this series on expectations, finances and people. That's it for now and good luck on your journey to becoming a better housemate.